guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 24 and 25 of season 2 of Bakuman. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 24 in 3, 2, 1, go. I hate that we gotta watch this again. Hmm. Basically. <laughs> Is that a little unfair though? Shit, I don't have my stuff over here. Fuck. Well, okay, I'm just use this. Is literally everyone changing? Because mm -hmm. no matter what, y'all see it, still eating good shit. Thank you. 
Oh, that looks so good. Ah. Dude, it's just like, it's the SAO episode again where she died and I cried and everything. Stop it! But don't make I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Made me want to make some damn strawberry freaking Christmas cake this year. I mean, that would be nice. But that was so cute. Oh my God. Yeah, it happens. I'm guessing the other reason why they're getting switched is because they don't like USA to work. <laughs> That's 
got to be it because it's like, hey, yeah, you was like it's hella flirting with hot today, and so we need to <laughs> really ice cream. Yes, no. I mean, you don't look like it, though. Oh, don't worry. They'll just go at it. When you're determined as fuck, you're going to be like, mm, let's get it.
But you can clearly see that she's upset. Jesus. Yeah, I think so, too. Hey, remember, he's just weird.
No, in a way, it's a step forward. I mean, once again, it is a gamble. It's a fucking risk. You just have to take it. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, like y'all be working y'all asses off. I see this is why I could never do that. Okay, so one, it is interesting that once again, like they switch editors and now it's just like we're getting the what in a way we're getting what I kind of wanted when I watched season one because having someone new come in, I was very skeptical about what his ideas and thoughts and feelings were going to do for these two. Yeah, there were times where I was like, I like his ideas, they're very interesting, and then there were times where I was like, no. This is a no. Like, a, a straight up no. Like, why are we doing this kind of no? But now that they're back with Hattori, and I'm happy. <laughs> I, I'm so happy. I do feel bad for Marina and the fact that he has to now work with USA and AG, especially USA. And how, you know, we go back to last week and how she was very, like, flirty as hell. <laughs> we had today, and then we go on to this week, and the, the dynamic changes, and Ricky and Bird is like, oh yeah, I got a pretty girl, oh, I can flirt with her, this is that, that there, and she's like, if you do anything to me, that's gonna be sexual harassment, we're like, oh shit, like, damn, I don't want to say karma is a bitch, because it's not, but in a way, karma is a bitch, like, oh my god. I feel bad for him. <laughs> so, yeah, even with the fact that, you know, he wants a script. I mean, it, it's a good idea. I really think it is because he's trying. I, I think having a script reading it out first and then planning out how the how your manga is going to look it's very interesting i don't think a lot of people have done that though but when you are taking something it's almost very similar when you take like a light novel um and making it into an anime and you're looking you're reading into the details but then at the same time you're trying to figure out okay if it's not important and such like it's almost like okay you know how when um I'm trying to think okay so like when twilight was out when harry potter was out when the hunger games was out all these book adaptation movies were out in that age of you know that renaissance because in my opinion i feel like we're over and done with that renaissance even though there are it, it's still up there you know um and how you were someone who read a book series religiously that was going to get a movie adaptation and stuff you go see the first movie and you're expecting this scene, that scene, this scene, whatever type of scenes, scenes that made you really truly love the book even more. Um, unfortunately, maybe like let's say out of the five out of the five things you're you're most anticipated for, only three show up. You're still happy about that adaptation, but this, then at the same time you're a little bit upset. But that's the thing about business and really in the entertainment business in a nutshell. Not every little thing of a detail is going to be in there. Straight up. Like, like even looking at TV show versions of a book or even comic, ver 
uh, uh, comic book TV shows, especially like Arrow, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, even though I don't really watch that anymore. Um, you never really truly know what the heck um, the writers and the screenwriters and the cast and the crew are going to be doing every single week up until the episode comes out. So if you're expecting this and then they give you something else, yeah, you got a right to be angry. But like I said, this is a very, because we are very close to the end of season two going on to season three, literally anything could happen. This is a, like probably as of now, the biggest gamble that they have. And the odds are in their favor in a way, but like one little wrong move could really just screw them over. And I don't want that. I don't want season two to end fucking up. I want it to be a really good ending before we start the three episodes of season three. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode of season two. Okay, final episode and three, two, one, go. Oh god. God damn, five fucking days. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seriously? True. You want him to be still be relatable, but then also be like, you know, godlike, quote unquote, in a way.
True. You'll be fine. Hmm? Is this supposed to be berserk? Oh, damn. Seriously?
made sense. Fucking cute! Oh my god, precious baby boy. True. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. No. Wait, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but also, I'm thinking about something. Oh my god. Stop, Deja. Oh my god.
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Exactly. Why the fuck would you want to do it? You're working yourself out. Oh my god. Okay, I'll keep poster. <sighs> right, it's so stressful. There's something wrong.
lets us determine women. No, I'll wait. Are we going? Okay, all right. So, final thoughts on season two. I really enjoyed season two a lot more than season one. If season one was like a band aid, season two was like, fuck it, we're ripping that band aid off, but we're going to have moments where they're still going to essentially need it. Because there were a lot of moments where it was like, we're ripping it off, we're putting it back on, we're ripping it off, and we're putting it back on. Because, oh my god, like, there were a lot of times where this second season, like, gave me so many different feels. Made me laugh, made me cry. I mean, Jesus Christ, like, goddamn. Like, <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> Like you just, you can't, this is some bullshit, are you serious? You cannot, hold up, stop, 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 no. Are you fucking kidding me? You, you literally, you end on a happy note, but then you still give me a bullshit type thing. You were telling, you giving them six fucking months, and if it's not good, you're gonna make them care. oh my god, that, see, now, the biggest thing is getting into the first episode of the final season is how's he going to go out and, like, immediately tell these two, hey, if y'all don't have anything good by the end of six months, it's over. Oh, God. I, okay, here's one you think. I under does it, like, if he, if he, like, literally decides to keep it from him, from them, and then waits and waits and waits and it's like eating away at him that's gonna fuck them up and that's truly gonna fuck his mentality as well and you don't want that especially because of the fact is you know between a an editor <clears throat> really it, it, no matter what partnership it is you need to kind of have like a really good relationship and at a point, it's, uh, it's always tough. You can't keep secrets. I get the fact that you possibly need to for certain reasons, but like, uh, this is so fucking 
frustrated. Like, see, once again, yes, this show, this show frustrates me sometimes, but, like, it's okay. I fucking love it. Like, I, you know what? I mean, there's a lot of shows that I have gotten angry. I don't think really with this show I've pulled my hair and it's where it's like, oh my god, I'm fucking stressed. I'm going to pull the shit out of my hair or something. But this show has stressed me out, like, to the point where there have been times, like, after I have been done recording and I record everything else that I'm going to record for that either that day or that week. And then I come back and I think about it a little bit more and I get stressed out even more about it because I'm like, what if this happens? What if that happens? Because you never truly know what the fuck is going to happen. But the fact is that he went to his uncle's grave and he showed him like, oh my God, he just had to make me cry. Like seriously, the last few weeks with almost any show that I have watched, like y'all have been really good at getting these little tearjerker moments and little subtle hits and be like, oh yeah, I need to gonna cry. Like, seriously. Y'all really did that shit today. Like, oh my god. Oh, but this season was good. It really, truly was. So now it feels like with this final season, like, all bets are off. Anything that will happen can happen. Anything that these characters are gonna go through. It's, it's probably going to be a billion times more worse than they had to do with the first few seasons. Like, season one and season two felt very, like, okay. Because at that time, they were still in, like, middle school slash high school. Like, so little kid-ish. Since they're now grown adults, we're about to deal with, like, the grown adult shit and, and everything. There, There's a lot, there's going to be a lot more stressful moments, I feel like. And honestly, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that will happen, it, it's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna be here every single week. But like, uh, but like, even okay, going into the previous episode, having best girls sing Merry Christmas, and it's like, oh my god, like you seriously, <laughs> it was sort of online all over again when she was what's her face and she died, and like here, here's me wish you a Merry Christmas, cry over that. Even though we are in fucking November, so probably by the time we get to the halfway point of season three. We should um, probably be around Christmas because I think either around that like Christmas break, I might take a break um, and then just like continue on into the new year after that. I'm not 100% sure because that's something that I'm kind of thinking about because I found out I'm going to Disney again. So yeah, it's something that we're not really sure. But as of right now, I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do. But probably knowing myself, I'll probably be taking like a big, big break. Um when we get there. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards the final two episodes of season two of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Friday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for the start of the first three episodes of the final season. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!